If you've ever sat in a chair and broke it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna run a static stress analysis in SolidWorks on a chair frame. So at the end, you can better understand analyzing safety factor and fatigue analysis. Let's go ahead and begin by starting a new static analysis. We'll name this study 900 Newtons. Make sure static is selected, hit OK. Let's apply our fixtures, fixed geometry at the base. We will select these contours here. Check that. You can see we got chrome stainless steel as our material for the chair frame. We're gonna apply our force downward on these two bars that support the actual seat of the chair. So let's go ahead now and select our force. Make sure we are in Newtons. Normal two. We are going to first select the top of this bar here. Same with this one. And instead of per item, we're going to check total. Let's do 900 Newtons as our value. So we've got our fixtures force. Now we need to run the mesh. We're going to right click mesh, create mesh. Mesh parameters, we're going to Drop this down and do blended curvature based here. And we're gonna do a fine, very fine mesh. Let's see if that will work. So you can see our mesh is now generated. We are now ready to run since we have set up all the pre-processing. So we will simply go to run the study. So we see the simulation has run successfully. We have our Von Mises plot here. Let's go ahead and go to some chart options to define the units. We show our maximum stress. And we will go to MPA, select OK. Now we want to look at the safety factor plot, which is defined as the maximum strength um, of the material of this part compared to the actual maximum strength in this case. So it's the ratio basically that shows how close you are to failure. If you have a safety factor of one, that means your part has reached that maximum material strength, but if you have a safety factor of two or three, it means that the maximum stress in this study is much less than the peak allowable stress or strength of the part. So in many industries, let's say you want to achieve a minimum safety factor of two to be to allow you know, some padding around the strength of the design, we can go ahead and account for that. So we are gonna go to Results Advisor, New Plot, Factor of Safety. You can see it's now created, lists our minimum Safety factor of 2.1, which we can go to the chart options again. We'll show, have this box checked. Our minimum safety factor is just above two. Let's say we want anything with safety factor two or below, below two considered failure. We can define that as red. So we'll uncheck this and specify two as our threshold and anything below that 
we will specify this color red to let us know that it's not an acceptable value. So we can still see we're barely above that. So it, in this case, passes. Let's go ahead now and do a plot now for a fatigue check. We right click and we will define fatigue check. We will leave the loading type as on off calculate. We'll do cold drawn and axial. We'll keep all that for minimum safety factor. We'll do two and we'll select. Okay. If we're getting all blue, that means we're in good shape. No concerns of where there might be concerns due to fatigue, where it would fail, but this is showing as good. Now we're going to copy this study and now increase the load to 1200 newtons and see how that affects our safety factor and the fatigue check. So we're going to go to copy study here. Name this 1200 newtons and select OK. Only thing we're going to change is our force total to 1200 and we'll go ahead and run that. So you can see we've got our max MPA shown again for our Von Mises plot. Let's go ahead and add our view our factor of safety. You can see our minimum now is below two at 1.55 as defined by this red region here, probing on the left side of the chair base. So definitely have failure here. According to our two threshold, let's now view our fatigue check. See how that was affected, if at all. No signs of red still, which is good. Let's go ahead and change the definition to see if we select the surface finish to hot rolled. All right, now we can see some red areas as warnings of where to look for potential failure on fatigue. So we can say that at 900 Newtons, the design strength does pass for our safety factor of two. If you found this video useful, go ahead, like, and share. In the description below, I'm going to put a link to your free finite element analysis guide. Take advantage of that. Also, consider joining my Patreon. If you become a member, I've got exclusive content on there on similar topics and more.